Hey, what is up YouTube? Demon Sparks here again, and this is the uh, part two for the motor rebuild and the repair of the shaft. The uh, cutter pin had broke off from all the torque. And yeah, as you can see, the uh, bearings are very good in this motor since it's still spinning. So here's the motor. And this is the little dowel pin down there. You see both ends. We put the new, uh, actually put a bolt through there. Instead of a dowel pin, we don't have any, so we just put a bolt through there, and I'm going to see if I can uh, take some JB Weld and just cover up both sides of the uh, shaft where the uh, gear meet. This is slipped on, and then the bolt goes through and holds this gear from spinning like you guys would have seen earlier in the uh, previous video. So I also cleaned up the uh, rotor, and like I said, the bearings are very good in this motor. That was just a very quick little flick of the thumb. Windings look really good too. The uh, brushes also look good, but they need to be cleaned off, uh, as well as the other back plate, half of the motor. That needs to be cleaned off as well before I reassemble it. Since uh, might as well, since I already have it all apart, might as well clean it up. This, as you guys would have seen, was completely rusted up. Um, as you guys can see, in between the gaps, it's pretty much what the whole thing looked like. So I'm hoping to get a little bit more. Uh, reliable performance out of the motor now that it's been cleaned up and uh, all that. I'm not expecting uh, miracles, but I'm expecting a little bit better performance. There's a lot of sand grains and rust and all that stuff. And So yeah, um, try to do another video where I'm tomorrow to reassembly and test out the scooter and see if this uh, new bolt pin holds up to the gear and holds up to the torque. I'm certain it will. It's a lot thicker than the uh, other original piece that broke off. It actually snapped on both sides. Um, Right here, right here is uh, the torque from this gear actually just twisted and it just ripped that bolt, um, ripped the dowel pin uh, on both sides and that's why this whole thing was turning around the output shaft. So hopefully that'll just fix the problem completely and uh, be good for a long time. So again, thanks for watching and please leave a like if you liked and subscribe for more and please do uh, stay updated because I will be posting in uh, a third video. Uh, during the reassembly as well as a testing video and showing off uh, every, how everything works. Hopefully it'll work out well. And again, thanks for watching.